so hello and assalamu alaikum guys today i will be discussing how to connect node.js express.js with your microsoft sql server so here i have my microsoft sql server along with a vs code in which i have two folders backend it is empty and a front end which i have initialized with uh, white to just react.js so i will be telling you how to initialize your backend and connect it with microsoft sql so first of all let's get into the uh, backend folder as as you can see i am already in the backend folder so i'm gonna no hold and i'm gonna write npm in it minus y and it's gonna initialize my backend folder so after that i am gonna install some dependencies which will be first of all we are using express as it is a node.js library so npm install express we will be using cross hero origin resource sharing course and ms sql microsoft sql package and yes finally node more i will recommend you guys to watch the video at 1.25 speed if you want to so that your time is not wasted so after we have installed all of these dependencies So as you can see we have got our node modules folder right here and our package.json have all the uh, dependency of core, express, mssql and node one. You can view their versions right here. Now let's move on to the backend folder and uh, make our file server.js. So I will not be splitting code into multiple files. All and everything we will be doing in this server.js so let's just write your script and add so we can use node mod so what you have to write in your package.json is start and node on server that is the entry point of our all files so let's not waste any time and first initialize our basic server const express is equals to require express and after that sql is equals to require and you're gonna write ms sql we have already installed all of these course require course so okay after that we are going to first initialize our app const app is equals to express so we have installed our app now app dot use use course now as we have done both let's uh, initialize a small api app dot get let's write the path and then a small arrow function in which we will request response and arrow function and it's gonna return response dot let's json and just write anything you like hi i am back end okay and now let's listen this web website app dot listen port name anyone 3000 comma an arrow function and let's just write so log something like the server has word okay so you can write npm start here and it's gonna run our node mount server 
uh, node one is gonna refresh that and our server will be soon working the server has started so just let's go to localhost 3000 and as you can see we have got high i am back in here right here so <clears throat> now coming back to the sql so now we have to configure our sql database so first of all you have to connect your database like that and i have connected and as you can see i have a database named atm and i'm selecting from cards as i execute it i got get this table so you have to make sure some things these things are first you have to make a new login for that and select sql server authentication and just uh, write your username in my case i have tks and my password is one two three four and uh, one two three four now uncheck all these options and just click the uh, ok okay i have created this uh, here select check logins and i have a login name tks so make sure that your login is working let me just give you a demo sql server authentication tks1234 connect and as it you can see it is connected if you it is not getting connected go to your properties and select here security and sql server authentication check this sql server and windows authentication now there are some more things that you have to see first of all click windows r and you can see that you have to type this component management dot mcs click ok and you will have this and now go to services and application and in that sql services configuration management and sql server network configuration protocols for sql service and make sure that this tcp and ip is enabled if it is not click from here and enable it after it is enabled you have to go to the properties ip address and scroll all the way down and see your port your port is 1433 mine is 1433 your can be any and it can be empty as well so you have to write a new port after making all these changes you have to restart the sql server for that go to services and go to services and here you have to find the sql server express microsoft sql express server um it should be yeah there it is sql server express you have to right click and restart it uh, and all your changes will be saved make sure that your sql server browser and sql server x let me show you sql server and here your services these sql server express and sql browser these two must be running these two must be running and after that uh, we have all these things checked let's go back to vs code and get our sql setup and let's just get our sql running so first of all let's make a configuration object Const configuration object and here will be your username in my case i have made tks <clears throat> my password my password is one two three four my password is one two three four my server so my server what is your server you have to go here click connect connect and this right here before the sql express is your server okay so this right here is your server after that you have write your server 
name your database so in this case I am using uh, let's use Windows authentication so databases I am using an ATM database uh, you can create a new database or anything in this case I am using ATM database so my database name will be ATM and now you have to select some options and uh, I don't know which option works all the options but uh, in my case trust first server certificate trust server certificate must be true trusted connection so trusted connection is false after that we have enable enable a r i t h a b o r t abort is true and instance name instance name so your instance name will be this sql express okay sql express now last but not the least we have our port so as you know i showed you what show port so that port is in my case it is 1433 which is the default port so i think we have made the configuration now let's just so in this case i will be hearing the from my, using my table card so let's just make a new qb use atm and select all from card let's execute this and this is our data which will be displaying so let's just make an other api app that get in this the path will be called and we will be using an async function a request and a response okay so here let me const pool is equals to await sql dot connect and we will just pass our config object that we have just created above now we will const data is equals to who the with west dot query and here we will write our query which is select star from card and after that when we have got this data um, data dot then and we will get a response from it and we will return nay okay we have two responses now let's just name it response one return response dot json and response wow. so let's just write it in a try catch block so if you have any error that will be catched So, log 
error yes so our server is working right now we have write catch error and we have I have restarted my server I think some problem may have occurred let's just format our document and let's just see so here you can see it is just giving hi I am back and let's go to our cards and here you go we have got all the card data which in SQL we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 17, 70. It is now here. 1770 expiry date balance. And we have got all the cards. So with this, we have successfully connected our SQL with our Express server. Thanks for watching. If you get any issues, ping me in the comments and I will help you out. Thank you.